Hi, this is Tamara at MowgliBlog.com, and in this video I'm working with Cricut to show you how to make these custom photo ornaments using the Cricut Explore Air 2. This is my machine I used to design these, and they were so much fun to make. So now I'm going to show you how I did it. So here we are in Cricut Design Space, where you can upload images or use their tools to make them right here in the design space. I'm using their circle tool, and of course I used lots of circles, big circles, little circles, and of course the tiny circles as well as the font tool to create these circle images. I'll be using the multi-sized ones here as the fronts and the 2016 ones as the back and the tiny holes to crochet them all together. So now that I've got these all laid out and ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that extra circle there and click go and move to the next screen. So here they all are laid out on the mat ready to print. This is just a good last check. So we click go, make sure it's hooked up computer to Cricut, and then change our dial position over to custom, which is I want what I want to use for the faux leather. Make sure the drop down menu, menu is on faux leather rather than one of the other many, many choices of things you can cut with your Cricut. So we'll just make sure it's back on faux leather, which is what we need, and move over to the Cricut. Okay, so with my mat loaded up, it's ready to cut. So you can see the Cricut cutting right through the leather here. It does take two passes, but it does a really great job. And as soon as it's finished cutting, I can peel that leather right off the mat. And I use this light by Atlight to help me find all the holes in it too. And then I just punch out what I don't need. Okay, so I've got all my parts assembled. The outer frame here, that's the front of the ornament and the 2016 piece is the back. I've done them in two colors so that I can use those inner, inner circles uh, in the ornament on the back, as you can see, to make the 2016 pop. Plus, that way, they don't go to waste. I've crocheted them together and added a hook to make them hang, and that's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and put it together. Now for this, I'm going to use a child school photograph. It's those small photographs, you know, those ones you're never quite sure what to do with unless you've got a lot of aunts and uncles. So I'm going to use an inner circle, like that, from the frame. Put that right over the part I want to make sure shows sort of use it as a guideline. Then with just a simple pair of scissors, I will trim off the excess, and I want to leave a couple of millimeters, maybe a quarter of an inch, on the top and bottom here, uh, just so I have a place to glue it inside the frame. So after I've got that trimmed out, then I will hold it up against the frame here just to make sure it looks good and doesn't block those outer circles. And then I can set that aside and get a front and a back of an ornament. And this is the part, because I added those outer circles by hand, they're not exactly perfect, so I need to keep turning it a little bit just until I get those outer circles lined up just so. So, looks like that's it right there. So once I've got them together, I will put a little mark by the top dot on each side, on the inside, so it doesn't show, but that will help guide me through the rest of the ornament making. So I know which two dots go together and where to line it up. So with some liquid glue, I will add a little bit of glue to the top and the bottom of the frame one. Make sure to keep that dot on top, that way you always know where the top of the ornament is. So it doesn't take much, just a little bit, like I said, top and bottom. Then I will take the photo and again, using that dot as a guide, make sure to keep it upright there. Tap it down so it's just so. You can let this dry a little while or just keep going if you feel secure in your placement, check it out, make sure it's just right. Then from there, we take one of the other colors because when you put it behind, look how great that popped. With a little bit more glue, we'll just add that to the back of our picture so it's not the back of the picture you see. And then again, you could let this dry overnight if you wanted to or just keep going if you feel like it's pretty secure. Find our dot, line them up, and we're ready to crochet it together. If you don't want to crochet it, you could just sew it together with yarn, but of course, you know me, I'll be crocheting. So. I like to start out with a slip knot already on my hook, makes it a little easier. And for this, I will be using Lion Brand's 24 7 cotton. So, to crochet the sides together, I just go right through that top set of holes through both layers and make a single crochet with a few chains in between each of the single crochets. And then, once you've crocheted all the way around, you can cut your yarn. Rather than joining, I like to use my yarn needle to finish up when I crochet around something. And of course after that I will weave in the ends and if you've sewn around rather than crocheting you'll need to weave in your ends too. But I'm just going to go through that first stitch and then back down through that last chain to finish it up. 
I won't show weaving it in, but basically I just weave right along and underneath those top stitches. And then after that's done, I go ahead and wiggle a little uh, crochet, or excuse me, not a crochet, a Christmas hook in there. Now, if you didn't want to make it a Christmas ornament, you could always instead use one of these key rings and then it would make an awesome key ring. So you can do all sorts of really fun things with this pattern and I hope you've enjoyed this very quick tutorial and that you'll give it a try. So if you want more information on the amazing things you can do with your Cricut, be sure to go to the link in the description. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please do subscribe, give it a like, and let us know what you thought in the comments. Thanks for watching.